I don't understand why the, the phone is still working. You have your keys? I've got them somewhere. Duke. Where's the lock? I just need to know, okay? Duke! Oh, my God. What the hell happened? Robin? Robin, are you okay? Okay. Robin, how is she? How's Philomena? Well, she's still breathing. There's a pulse. Huh. What we need now is an ambulance and the police. I'll call from her neighbors. You keep her warm. Put your coat around her. Okay. All right. I'll close the door. Stay alert. I'll be right back. Who's out there? I said who's out there? You answer me! Let's move it, guys. She's in bad shape. Doctors are take care of me. Okay. I'm afraid I'm more than I have to, Duke. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, does anything hurt you? I thought she's in shock, Patrick. I'd have to take Robin along with us too, sweetheart. We're gonna take you to General Hospital. No, I, 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 I want to take her. I want to take you. I love you. Be okay. Daddy's coat's gonna keep you nice and warm. Police are on their way. I call the club for you, too. Patrick, how are they? I want them both at General. I, I, I don't want to hear when the police come. No, the police don't want to talk to her, Duke. Oh, come on, not now, Sean, please. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. You sweetie, behind? Duke will soon, baby. Mm -hmm. She's, She's going to be okay? Yeah. She's in shock, Sean. All right. Okay. Who the hell did this? Who the hell did this and why? Duke. Whose is this? It's Anna's. Something must have happened to her. Right, well, just take it easy. No, how can I take it easy? No, just man? take Something it easy. Anna's... Don't jump to conclusions, all right? Everything's going to be all right. Excuse me, sir. We need to take her now. Okay, right. don't touch her. I'll take her myself. Thank you. All right, fine. Just uh, squirt them out, will you, please? I'll find her. I'll find her. I'll find her. All right, just take care of her and Philomena. Dude, what? What the hell? Sean, is Robin okay? She better be. What happened here, robbery? I think it's more than that. Anna may be in danger, so my first priority is to find her. She's disappeared? Guy, I did not want to upset Duke any more than he's already upset. But I think someone was outside when we first got here. And this purse is in here. Packages are in here. I think she's been kidnapped. Full search. Full research. Outside, inside. You got it. Sean. If anything happens to Anna, somebody's gonna answer to me. Excuse me, can you yes. tell me how the little girl oh, is? Oh, I'm sorry. You'll have to ask the doctor. I'm sorry. Excuse me, my little girl is inside. Yes, I really have to... I know. Uh, excuse me, is your Mr. Ramos out here? Very good. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Hey. How was you me I'm sorry. It doesn't look good. Don't tell me she's going to die. Oh, man. Well, right now, it is so difficult to tell how she's going to respond from those injuries. She suffered a severe blow to the head. And with her age and a recent illness, it's all working against her. I have to see her later, after the x-ray. No, you don't understand. I have to talk to her. She's the only one that knows what happened to Anna. I have to... I'm sorry. It's going to have to be later. It's going to be a while before she can talk to anybody. I promise you, the minute there's any change, I'll contact you. Right now, you're going to have to excuse me. I have to order those tests. Okay. Okay, this is the part that B.J. hates. She sees stars. What do you see? Any 
anything? How is she? Well, actually, she's terrific. It's the best patient I've ever had, really. I was uh, just telling her that recently I had examined BJ, and BJ was a very good patient, too. Hey. Did you hear that? Tony says you're a good patient. Well, no more poking around on you, okay? The thing you've got to do now is get some sleep. I bet you hate that, don't you? You know, BJ's at the age when I tell her to go to sleep, she can't stand it. You that way? Well, we'll be outside. I'll, I'll be waiting for you, sweetheart. I love you. Why won't you say anything? She won't talk. Well, listen, the first thing I want to do is put your mind at rest. Now, there is nothing physically wrong with her. There's no broken bones, there's no bruises, there's no cuts, and there's no evidence that she was abused in any way. Oh, such a relief, thank you. One thing I'm a little worried about right now is the lack of response. What is it? What do you think it is? Do you think it's, it's a shock? I don't know. I hope so. Actually, if you uh, allow me to, I'd like to get a second opinion from Dr. Foster. Yeah, anything, please. Oh, yeah. Get her upstairs, I'll make the arrangements. No way. No, you can't wait. What about you, Tay? Intensive care. The x-rays have shown what I thought. I mean, they turned out negative, but she's suffering a massive concussion. No. I'm sorry. There's gonna be something that you can do for her, Lydia. The only thing anyone can do right now is just to monitor her closely. And to pray for the best. Excuse me. Mr. Lavery? Yes, how's over there? Oh, I know that you must be very anxious. I concur with Tony's findings. Robin is suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. In simple words, it means that she's blocking out everything that happened to her. And considering the number of things that could have happened during the robbery or the attack, her condition is not unusual. She's not in any pain. Please tell me that she's not. No, physically, she's, she's not in any pain. And emotionally, her system is protecting her from feeling very much of anything. In time, she'll be able to handle the truth. You have to do what you can. You have to help her, not just for herself, but also for her mother. Robin's the only one that knows what happens to Anna. You talk to him, I'll take care of the transfer. Okay. Listen, while Dr. Jones is uh, taking care of the final arrangements, I'd like to tell you about the course of treatment that we want to prescribe for. You've got to do whatever you can to help her. It could mean her mother's life, you know. You'll like pediatrics. There are several children there your age. I'll get your wheelchair and we'll go for a nice ride. She's just tired. Let's get some rest. I don't think she doesn't even know that I'm here. She will. Isn't there some way we can get through to we can't do something else? Well, I don't think you're going to succeed tonight. You're both exhausted. You need to get some rest. And I'm fine. No, I, I've prescribed something to help her sleep. And then tomorrow we'll try to get her to come back to reality. In the meantime, I agree with Tony. The best thing you can do for her is to go get some rest yourself. No, I'm, I'm not going to leave her here alone. I'm going to stay here. Well, don't worry. I plan to spend some time with her myself tonight. She'll be all right. Okay. Thank you. Duke, I got here as soon as I could. How are they? For the miss, she's bad. She's unconscious. Robin, I don't know. She's in shock or something. She just, she's staring off into space. She's not responding. She's bad. Oh, sorry. What about Anna? 
Nothing. Duke, don't worry. We've got a full search going now. Our whole department, all the neighboring forces, they've all been alerted. And you're still sure she's been kidnapped? Well, at first I wasn't convinced, but yeah, now I am. Sam, until further notice, I want somebody on this door at all times. Yes, sir. Well, you don't think Robin's still in danger, do you? Better safe than sorry, right? And right now, I have no way of knowing what or who I'm dealing with. Excuse me. We'll make sure everything's all right. I'll take turns. All right. All right. He may not know who he's dealing with, but I certainly do. You mean Jerome? Yes, I mean Jerome. He said if I didn't take care of Carruthers this week, he'd do something. He bloody well meant it, didn't he? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to call him. And say what? I don't know what I'm going to say. He got Anna into this. He can get her out of it. Wait, wait a minute. I want to talk to Jerome. Well, the answer won't change. Pal. I have something very important I want to discuss with him. Well, any business you got with him, you discuss with me first. Tell him this to you, Larry. I don't care if you're the king of England. Listen, you could be in big trouble, man, if you don't put me through immediately, okay? Something tells me you're the one who's in trouble. Big trouble. What I have to do to get through this, you're on very, very important business I want to discuss with him. What now, Mr. Lavery? Jerome. Uh, what can I do for you? Where's my wife? Excuse me? And now, don't play any games with me. I know you're behind it. What have you done with her? What do I have to do to get her back? You're telling me that your wife's missing? <laughs> Another man, perhaps. Don't you make jokes with me. You had them kidnap her. What exactly do I have to do to get her? It's never wise to discuss things over the telephone. Well, in that case, we don't have to discuss them at all. I know exactly what you want. Fine. Then we have nothing else to talk about. Apparently, Mrs. Lavery's been kidnapped. He thinks I'm responsible. I had nothing to do with it, of course, but he doesn't know that. If he's willing to finish off Carruthers to get her back, far be it from me to stop. I don't like to go away and leave you. I have to. It'll only be for maybe a day or two. Maybe three days at most. You won't even miss me, you're gonna be. You're gonna be so busy getting better. And then, when I come back, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring your mommy with me. You'd like that, wouldn't you? We're gonna be together. You, me, and your mother. Nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. I love you, sweetheart. I love you more than I can ever tell you. I've only gone away for, for you and for mommy. What is it to reconsider? It's my fault the kid's like this. It's my fault Anna's in danger. I better get back safe. I'm the only one who can. 